sure, all right, okay. You say so, right. Hi guys, it's me, Essie Magic, and today I want to talk about how to deal with closed-minded people. One of the comments I often get from friends or just people I meet is they always say that you're so lucky to have a supportive you know, group around you, that your family supports you, that you have family and friends who support you. And one thing I want to make sure I point out is that this is not luck. This is because I've made sure to either get rid of people who don't understand and are not supportive. And if it's a family member, you know, make sure to educate them on what I want to do or what I'm trying to achieve um, so that they can better understand my vision and my goals. So I want to share with you my tips on how to deal with closed-minded people or people who just don't seem open to what you're trying to do or understanding of what you're trying to do. So exactly what is a closed-minded person? Well, this is somebody who is narrow-minded. They have a narrow outlook on life. They might be kind of stubborn. They're not really willing to listen to other ideas. They're kind of intolerant of other ideas and they really try to you know, make statements versus ask questions. So somebody who is open-minded and curious will rather ask questions when they don't understand versus somebody who's closed-minded, they will just make an assumption or make a statement without really caring about what you're saying. This is how I deal with those people. These are in no particular order. I have three ways that I deal with people who are narrow-minded and negative in your life. It's very important that you do deal with these issues uh, when you encounter people being this way because all it does is bring down your confidence level, it brings down your optimism, it brings down your mood, and it does nothing to help you in pursuing your goals, working hard, and chasing your dream. So the first thing I typically do is assess whether the person is willing to budge. And you know, it's not a situation where they can't understand, it's rather a situation where they don't want to understand. When it's a situation where I realize the person is just not willing to budge, I just distance myself immediately. And you can tell when they're not willing to budge because you'll say something to them and they'll be like, okay, or they'll be just give some sort of sarcastic remark like, sure, all right, okay. You know, if you say so, right. You know what I mean? That type of thing. So when I recognize these signs, it's an automatic distancing myself from this person. It's, I don't want to hang out with you. I don't want to be around you. Bye. I don't want your negative energy, your negative outlook bringing me down and this idea of you drilling ideas in my head about something you think is right when I know it's not right for me. So for me, I don't even give these people a chance. It's an automatic distancing myself. And oddly enough, I've had people like this actually notice I'm distancing myself from them. And then they kind of start, it's kind of a weird sensation. Like they start coming around because they notice I don't really want to associate with them. Or I don't really want to be their friend. And I think they start feeling kind of weird and they rather try to talk to me more or try to be like, hey, how are things going? Oh, how's that? you know, thing you're working on. Oh, okay, cool. But at that point, it's kind of like, I don't know if they're just being fake because they feel bad about it or something. But weirdly enough, I have had people then try and come back around when I distance myself from them. I'm not a rude person. So in that case, I still was cordial with them, but I do keep them on the surface and I only let them know so much about what's going on in my life and I kind of have a bit of a wall up with them. The next way I deal with closed-minded people is to kind of assess if the person just has the mental capacity to even understand, you know, what I'm talking about. Some people, let's face it, they're just not smart enough to know and they're just not going to get it in a short conversation. You need a whole book to <laughs> to you know, educate them on this topic, which is fine. Not everybody can be as knowledgeable about stuff as others, but in cases like this, where it's like the person is just gonna keep arguing with you because they don't understand and they're just not knowledgeable enough about it, it's kind of like, okay, 
they just need to take the time to learn about this before we talk about this again and in cases like this I might recommend them a book or send them you know some resources to help them kind of understand what I was talking about I won't necessarily be like bye like it was with the last <laughs> the last one I said but I won't waste my time trying to convince them of something that they're not understanding I'll rather just be like hey you know here's this book that talks about this it's very interesting it explains XYZ check it out and then I will go about doing the same thing I was doing already without their influence and the third way I deal with people who are closed-minded is I assess and this is the the one where I would say I have the most compassion and heart is I kind of assess if it's as a result of their upbringing. I find that there are some people who were raised a certain way and because of that they're just raised to think certain things should be one way and certain things should be another way. However, if you expose them to what's out there and what's possible they very much will be like, oh, that's cool. I didn't know that existed. Oh, okay. So that's what you've been working on. Oh, I see. So there are some people who they just, it's their upbringing that makes them, you know, closed minded and not able to think about what's possible or believe in what's possible. But if you expose them to it, then they'll kind of get it and by exposing them this could be inviting them to a workshop about something or an event that talks about you know what you're interested if you're a singer and you're going to some sort of workshop about vocal training or something invite them if you're an actor and you're going to some sort of improv thing or some sort of workshop about how to make money as an actor invite this person if you're an entrepreneur and you're going to some sort of event with entrepreneurs that talk about you know how rich you can be and how much money you can make if you do XYZ invite that person to come with you and a lot of times you'll find that once they actually see they will believe and yeah there's a lot of people you'd be surprised how many people are out there that it's just because they don't know it it's not their surroundings they're not around people who are doing that so they don't understand and think things can only be one way but once they see it and are exposed to it then they realize wait a minute this is actually kind of cool and then next thing you know you're good friends with this person and they're even trying to be more like you or going after their dreams and their goals so yeah that is the third way that I deal with closed-minded people. So let me know in the comments below, how do you deal with closed-minded people? How do you deal with people who are ignorant and just don't want to understand what your mission is? How do you deal with them? Let me know in the comments below. I do want to remind you that I release videos every Thursday and Saturday, so make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you're notified of my new videos. I also have a group called LAGoals.com. It's a community I've created for like-minded people who want to support each other. I have guides, I have articles, I have tips on how to make it in LA. I have group monthly chats for people who have questions. I have gigs and events on there that I post in the monthly calendar. There's a message board where you can talk to people in the group. Yeah, that's LA Goals, so make sure you check that out as well if you're interested. Other than that, I hope you enjoyed this video, and as always, keep being magic! Bye!